Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forget Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Uh, Let her go. Huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. <laughs> Sir, you obviously do not know who I am, or you'd keep your distance. Ooh, one more like that and I'm gonna get scared. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine! And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it! Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots! I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. What the fuck are you talking about? I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Ain't true. You only get one shot. At this distance, even a blind man couldn't miss. If you miss, you're a dead man, sir. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest.
Well, did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed 10 minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. 10 minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. It would have been my pleasure, but I don't have it with me, Your Eminence. Why is that? You remember that I came here to meet my mother. Well, I still haven't found her, and it's beginning to worry me. Given the importance of your letter, and not knowing where it all might lead me, I've hidden it. His eminence wouldn't want me to take the slightest risk, would he? Excellent initiative, my son. Uh, but please tell me you haven't simply left it in your room, my son. Don't worry. It is perfectly safe and sound. Certainly, but where? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not at liberty to say. The walls have ears here, and I refuse to put any of these people in danger. Give me the name you wanted to add, and I'll pass it on to my mother. Very well. You seem to know what you're doing. Here is the name. Jean-Baptiste Joseph Goebel. Don't forget to give this name to your mother, or a good man will end up dead. Are you prepared to trust me, or not? Of course, my son. Have a good night. Whew. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. 